Hi, I'm Warrant Officer Scott Shaw with the South Alberta Light Horse here at the Patterson Armories in Medicine Hat. Today we're talking with Sergeant Chris Toombs. Hi Chris, how are you doing today? Not too bad Scott, how are you doing? I'm awesome, thanks. Uh, so what are you doing here today at the Military Heritage Exhibition? I'm actually here photographing uh, the regimental uh, parade and the vehicles and the whole events of the day. That's awesome. Are you normally a photographer? I noticed you were in a uniform. Do you normally do this in a military capacity? Uh, yes, I do uh, photography in the military capacity. My primary function, though, is I'm an infantry uh, NCO, and it's part of the combat arms. But photography is uh, one of my secondary duties that I have learned and utilized uh, throughout my military career. Well, that's awesome. Did you learn it as, as a skill, or was this something that they provided a course for? Um, it was a combination of different things. I did have a background before uh, I joined the military uh, some 25 years ago and when I was part of the Canadian Forces Parachute Team with the Skyhawks, I was actually their uh, team videographer and photographer and I did a lot of air-to-air -air stuff. Also, we used cameras uh, doing reconnaissance stuff like that and also in uh, media relationships and influence activities which is basically taking imagery of wells and and interactions of locals to put into papers and stuff like that. So I did have some training in a course in uh, Kingston, Ontario. And a little bit of uh, really off the wall kind of training as well. You mentioned the Skyhawks. There's a lot of airborne photography as you're falling through the sky? Uh, actually, when you're a part of the Canadian Forces Parachute Team, uh, you do do a lot of media relationships and you do uh, video and you do photography. So it is a lot more uh, common there than actually doing uh, military free fall training. We do do some video and some photography while we do the training, but when we do actual operations or, or missions, quote unquote, we generally uh, don't bring the cameras. We're generally busy on the job at hand. Doing your other stuff, yeah. it's awesome. Uh, so when you had this interest in it, did you always want to be a photographer or did the infantry tweak your, your buttons a little bit more? Because it doesn't seem like a likely trade to go from uh, from an infantry into the, uh, the shutterbug business. I actually started off uh, before I joined the military. I was actually working in a small studio and I actually got into the military and I figured out about a year and a half in that I like jumping out of airplanes <laughs> and, and doing the army guy stuff and being an infantryman. And basically I put a lot of my photography skills on hold. I still used them to capture the memories as I was traveling through my military career, but I came back to them later on in my career when it was actually something that I actually needed to use and know in the job. So. No, it sounds like a healthy mix to us, so it's good to know that your hobbies can sometimes be what you're, you're looking for for a job sometimes later in life, isn't it? And actually it was a great transition because when I, my hobby, as I used to say, is that my uh, hobby became my job and my job became my hobby. So mm -hmm. by being a reservist, I get to work as a professional commercial photographer for my own company, One Step Beyond .ca, and I get to play soldier and actually still give uh, value back to the Queen. That's an awesome uh, combination. I can't think of a better way to, to live your life with your hobby and your, and your, your best uh, interest at heart. So, thanks for coming out today and, and taking our photographs for us. And we certainly look forward to you coming out to next year's event with our Heritage Exhibition. Thank you very much, Scott. And it was great being here. And it was great being with the Sallies once again. Medicine Hat, we're the South Alberta Light Horse. And we're your regiment. Do you have what it takes to be a primary reserve soldier? Call 310 Army to find out or get a hold of us at selh.net.